Hey, buenos dias, que onda, que paso, amigos? Welcome back to the channel, John's Moto Garage. As you can tell by the title today, I am going to be quitting YouTube. And the reason is I found what to me would be like my dream job, right? And so I'm going to go a little bit into that. And for those of you calling clickbait, um, this is one instance where I can say this is not clickbait. So let's get into it. Now, if you're new to the channel, then welcome. And sadly, moving forward, I won't be releasing any more videos because, like I said, I'm quitting the channel quitting YouTube altogether. I've been doing this channel for about a year and a half. When I started it, I had no idea um, it would turn into what it is today. And I'm happy to say it has been a total blast. Fun times for sure, all around. I love motorcycles. I've been buying and selling them for years just as a side hobby. Since starting the channel, I got more into riding, learning wheelies, learning to try drifting, all that kind of stuff. One of the coolest parts about it has been interacting and engaging with the community. That's all of you guys, all those who come and support the channel and hang out and leave comments and all that stuff. It really has been truly an amazing, amazing experience. But every good thing comes to an end and the time has arrived to turn a new leaf, put an end to this chapter of my life and move on to the next thing. So what a lot of you guys don't know about me is I am a huge animal lover and we've got a couple pets here, but I've had a dream job on my radar for years and I finally found that dream job. However, it's going to require that I uproot the family. We're going to move from Arizona to another state so that I can pursue this, this dream job, this dream gig, if you will. I've known about this for like the last two months or so and I've been kind of really weighing heavily the decisions and finally came to a Point where I said you know what I just got to go with it man you know they say YOLO you only live once so you got to follow your dreams follow your passions and unfortunately that means leaving one of my passions behind in order to go after something that I think will be a little bit better now to put all this in context because a lot of you will be watching this at some point in the future we're in 2020 this year has been wild and crazy so far we just got out of March so yesterday is March 31st well, yeah, so if you look at it, yesterday was March 31st, right? So we're just into April now. And so there's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of unknown, a lot that's going on right now. Again, just to kind of put into context everything that's going on. So you're probably wondering, what's this new dream job that I have? Because I've never shared on this channel what my day job is. And a lot of people have asked. I'm going to be moving out to Ohio. There's a zoo out there, a big, uh, big cat zoo. So they've got lions, tigers gorillas, just all kind of those exotic animals out there. I'm going to be joining their team and training the tigers, feeding them. I'm going to be getting real up close and personal with them, doing stuff in the cages. So that same adrenaline rush I get with the motorcycles, learning wheelies and trying to do stoppies and stuff like that, I'm still going to have that. This is something I've wanted to do for, like I said, a long time. And I think the motivation and inspiration for this was a series I watched recently. Many of you, some of you may have seen it, others maybe not, but it's the uh, the Tiger King. And this is like a just super inspirational TV show through Netflix, so you guys can go check it out, about Joe, um, Joe Exotic is the guy's name. It sounds kind of wild, but it's, it's, it's really inspirational. And, and that impacted me profoundly, left an indelible mark on my life and I realized I gotta leave all this motorcycle garbage behind and focus on these big cats and learning to train them and learning to become kind of like a cat whisperer in a sense and learn to help them to live their best life. So I'm gonna be up uprooting the family. We're gonna be moving from Arizona to Oklahoma and it's now called the Great Winwood Exotic Animal Park, but I prefer Joe Exotic's Zoo. I think that name just has a lot, a lot more it rolls off the tongue a lot better and so that's where i'm going to be going I'll be hanging out with the tigers i'll be doing a lot of fun stuff there i may be working with local law enforcement we may be going down to florida on occasion doing some investigative journalism and you know digging up septic tanks and things along those lines just kind of seeing if we can get to the bottom of some other mysteries and some other things that are going on in that in that industry but there you have you guys john's moto garage I'm I guess we won't catch you on the next one this time, but like and subscribe if you dig the content and maybe I'll start a channel, something like, I don't know, Joe Exotic TV or something along those lines and just kind of document my my journeys. The first thing I plan on doing is I'm going to be dyeing my hair. I'm thinking like bleaching it up top and then I'm probably going to grow out a mullet and I want to get a bunch of new, well not new, I want to get my first piercings. So I'm thinking of getting one here 
and then a few on the ear, at least five or six. I would love to get some tattoos. I've got some really good ideas for tattoos, everything from across the back and the arms, teardrops, I mean, you name it, and I'll probably end up doing it as far as the tattoos go. I kind of want to run for governor, possibly run for president of the United States. I don't know. The sky's the limit, you know what I mean? Like, aim for the moon, shoot for the stars type deal, so... Lots of fun stuff to come for sure. Hopefully you're having a good one out there. Stay safe and like and subscribe. And if you don't know, obviously, yes, this is an April Fool's joke. This is the one time a year where I can actually do a quote unquote clickbait video, which I know it really makes some of you guys angry, but I like to have fun. I don't take myself too seriously, but this is the one time a year where I, actually, I can actually do it and call an April Fool's. So April Fool's, no, I'm not quitting YouTube and the motorcycle stuff to go out to Oklahoma and pursue a career in wildlife and big cats. Not going to happen as awesome as that would be. If you haven't, definitely check out Joe Exotic on uh, or the, the Tiger King on Netflix. Definitely a trippy documentary for sure. Seems a little bit surreal. If you want to kind of distract yourself from what's going on, get a little bit of comedic relief, then I would highly recommend it. Drop a comment below. What did you guys do for April Fools? Did you have a good one? I hope you did. And we'll see you guys on the next one moving forward with uh, more motorcycle stuff. Hasta luego. Nos vemos.